buried at Woodland Cemetery is Paul Lawrence Dunbar, who graduated from Dayton's old Central High School and went on to become one of America's best-loved poets. Dunbar's grave is next to his friend and classmate, Orville Wright. Orville and his brother Wilbur made history in 1903 when their aeroplane flew for a record-breaking 59 seconds. Charles F. Kettering is most famous for his electric self-starter, which eliminated the crank from automobiles. In 1879, a pub owner named James Riddy invented a machine he called Riddy's Incorruptible Bartender. Riddy was a good inventor, but a poor businessman. He sold the patent on his incorruptible bartender for $1,000. John Patterson, an up-and-coming businessman, saw the potential of Riddy's invention. In 1883, he founded the National Cash Register Company, and the rest is Dayton history. Woodland has more than 100,000 memorials honoring the people who helped to shape a young city. Charles Sewell was a prominent artist in the 1800s. At the turn of the century, Leslie Carter was one of America's most celebrated actresses. Reverend Lorenzo Langstroth became known as the father of modern beekeeping. And Earl Kaiser, nicknamed the Little Dayton Demon, was a world-renowned cyclist. John Alexander Collins founded the CH&B Railroad in 1851. When Queen Matilda was buried here in 1878, Woodland became the sacred burial ground for the Stanleys, one of the largest clans of gypsies in the United States. One of Dayton's wealthiest ladies in the 19th century was Elizabeth Richter, better known as Lib Hedges, Dayton's legendary madam. Lib bought 16 grave lots at Woodland. The monument she chose for her sister and three of her young ladies depicts a graceful goddess, although some have likened it to a fallen angel. No one knows the true story behind the statue of the boy and dog. Johnny Morehouse was reportedly five years old when he died in 1860. Some say the dog tried to save the drowning boy. Others say the monument is merely a loving tribute to lost childhood. Some statues reflect the character of the people memorialized. Adam Schantz Sr. sits in his favorite chair. Gustav Weidecke leans casually against the wall. Life-size figures, frozen against the backdrop of Greek temples and granite columns, speak of a silent city of private memory and communal history. With over 3,000 trees on its rolling hills, Woodland is recognized as one of the area's finest arboretums. After decades of planting and cultivation, it is home to virtually every species of tree and shrub which grows in the Midwest. 165 cultivated woody plant specimens are located and labeled on the grounds. The Ohio Forestry Association has designated several trees as Ohio champions, being the largest of their species in the state. Many of the trees have stood for well over a century. Throughout the grounds, seasonal floral displays are carefully tended.
The Woodland Mausoleum was constructed in 1969. Its dignified architecture features 15 varieties of imported marble. A mosaic depicting Wagner's operatic hero Parsifal contains over 100,000 pieces of hand-cut ceramic tile. In the mausoleum's alcoves are 11 stained glass windows inspired by famous literary works. Woodland Cemetery remains true to the visions of its founder. Over 150 years ago, John Witten Van Cleve probably stood on this same point, pondering the future of his hometown below. The legacy he sculpted out of the rolling hills and forest has honored generations of Dayton residents and will continue to serve as a tribute for generations to come.